G'day everybody, it's me again. Um, a couple of sliders later, I've got my TL494 working. Um, it's a TL494 pole switch modulation control chip. Um, I'm having it running in uh, flip-flop mode. So it'll flip-flop these two MOSFETs. I've set the frequency to approximately 1 kilohertz. Um, I'm really not getting any decent output at the moment. But I do believe it's because my batteries just don't have any grunt. These are 1.5 amp hour uh, 12 volt batteries, uh, driver, the uh, drill driver batteries, and they've just got no guts. Anyway, TL494, uh, 7812 voltage regulator, and uh, both of these are 50k ohm uh, multi turn trim pots. Um, that one there sets the frequency, and that one there sets the dead time. And dead time is the uh, difference between uh, one transistor going from uh, on to off, and then it waits a little bit before switching the other one on if, you're on, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I think that made sense. It's a little little gap in between the uh, switch. And uh, just give me a minute here, I'll uh, get another battery out that's being charged, and I'll show you the waveform that comes out. Um, this is actually being prepared to drive a ZVS, uh, sorry, to drive a flyback um, in a, uh, you know, a, a, a non-self-oscillating fashion. That's the way I've got it out. Um, neon light there just for a, a dummy so I know when there's power. Got the multimeter hooked up so we can see the frequency or the volts. And uh, like I said, I'll just wait for this battery to charge. And then uh, I'll show you it working and we'll also get a shot of the uh, square wave on the oscilloscope. Yeah, you guys have no idea how hard it is for me to get all that out. <laughs> anyway, mm, give me a minute here. Okay, so uh, I've got the battery charged up. So I'll do this real quick because the battery doesn't last very long at all. The piss weak. And um, there's the oscilloscope output. As you can see, the voltage drops because the batteries are just absolutely piss weak. They see 36 volts. Ugh, disgusting. Exactly one kilohertz. I bet you that battery's only giving about five volts right now. That's why. So it's not working very well at all. Ew. Ew. Something's not happy. Yeah, the battery voltage gets too low. Um, this battery is probably going flat now. It's not having enough power to drive these MOSFETs properly. Anyway, that's my little TL494 uh, flip-flop inverter. Uh, I think that's what you call it. Anyway, it's like I said, it's running in in uh, flip-flop mode. So it fires that uh, MOSFET, and then it fires that one, then it fires that one, then it fires that one, like a like a, a like a ZVS oscillates. But this one doesn't use self oscillation. It uses uh, the uh, oscillation generated by the TL494 to uh, drive the MOSFET so they get driven properly, they run cold. Um, mind you, they're not doing very much work and uh, yeah, the output is pretty weak at the moment, I know. So more experimentation, but we're getting there, it's working. Um, I think the next step I'll actually try to do is to get rid of that transformer and I'll get a decent power supply in here. I still only need a 12 volt battery to run the, the uh, flip flop inverter PWM controller. Um, but yeah, I think I'll put this straight into a uh, flyback and uh, see how it goes. Anyway, enough waffle. Thanks for watching. TL494 based uh, inverter.